Jamie Hamilton and I run a company called Hamilton Ice Sculptors. We make um, individually designed ice sculptures for parties and promotions, for film, TV special effects and for live events which are open to the public around the country. While we're making ice sculptures we have to uh, consider our hands a lot. Getting too cold is uh, a really big problem. Um, getting uh, cuts is a massive problem and also um, dropping things is a very big problem so in order to get over those problems we need really really good gloves and the gloves that we're using are the Showa 477s from Globus which are the best gloves that we found for sculpting ice. The gloves are brilliant because they, um, they fulfil the combination of keeping us safe and keeping the kind of dexterity which is really important to do delicate and um, detailed ice carving. So for example, uh, they're completely waterproof, which is really important. They've also got a fleece lining, which means that we keep our hands warm. But at the same time, they're not too clunky. So some gloves might be uh, very safe, but far too chunky to be practical when you're trying to work with delicate tools and uh, make delicate ice sculptures. These gloves allow us the dexterity we need along with all the safety protection which we require from our gloves. Having the right gloves is very important to us because it gives us the confidence to produce the sculptures that we're asked to make. These could be very, very small sculptures uh, which require a great deal of detail. For example, uh, hand sculpted ice cubes or drinks commercials or individual table centerpieces. Or they could be huge sculptures, a huge ice castle or uh, a massive snow sculpture made of maybe 30, 40 cubic metres of snow. Um, we need gloves in those uh, jobs which are going to mean that we are absolutely confident that we're not going to have either an injury or a slip, we're not going to drop anything, we're not going to break anything. These things are, are, are crucial. Uh, if we are lacking in the right tools to do our job, then we're not going to do the best job we can. And the gloves are a crucial part of getting our job from uh, the manufacturing all the way to the delivery and to making sure that the client, whoever that is, is uh, delighted with the work that we've done. Ice is incredibly slippery. Uh, when it's cold, it's very slippery. When it's warm and it's wet, it's even more slippery. So having an excellent grip is completely essential if we're going to carry out our job properly. These Showa 477 gloves from Globus are excellent at gripping the ice um, and that is something that is essential for us. We've got a team of sculptors here, it's not just me, and we're all using the gloves uh, because they're so good. Um, they're used for sculpting ice, uh, also for delivering ice, which is a very important part of the job. When we deliver ice, it's still cold, still need protection for our hands, but it's still slippery, so we need excellent grip and excellent thermal protection as well. The gloves are extremely comfortable. It's important to us because we wear them all day long, our team wears them. Uh, we also take them off and put them back on a lot depending on what we're doing and it's important that you know that's not a struggle, that's not a time consuming thing, it's not an irritation because that can be a potential health and safety problem because if people are reluctant to put them on then they're more likely to have an accident. We know from talking to other ice sculptors that these are the industry standard gloves throughout the world of ice sculpture. Uh, they're an extremely high quality product that fulfills all the needs that we have as ice sculptors. We're extremely happy to have them available.